about the federal judge uh, in Georgia uh, today releasing portions of the grand jury report on former President Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. You know, that report found that no widespread fraud took place that could have resulted in the overturning of Georgia's election results. And the grand jury believes that one or more witnesses who testified may have committed perjury. You know, the majority of the report, though, still remains redacted. So let me ask you, as a former state and federal prosecutor and a member of the House Judiciary Committee as well. What is your perspective on all of this, your takeaways uh, from the report, and, and what do you want to see happen from here? Well, I mean, I think the interesting point is going to be what uh, the DA decides to do next. It sounds like there's an additional grand jury that's been impaneled and will move forward with more investigative work. I mean, the sort of Quasi finding that perjury may have been committed, I think, means that uh, there will be additional investigations and there may be people who face indictment uh, just in the state investigation. Uh, and I thought that the finding of, of, you know, no fraud in the Georgia election, uh, which I don't think is a big surprise to most of us, but, you know, it's yet another nail in the coffin of the election denial denials uh, that were you know, running rampant in 2020. Hopefully that's the end of the crybaby politics uh, in Georgia. And I'm hoping it's done for the rest of the country as well. So why do you think, why was, do you think the majority of the report is redacted? What, what do you think is being protected here? Well, that's hard to know, but I mean, typically grand jury, uh, all grand jury activities are done in secrecy in state and federal courts, and usually there's no release of those materials until the uh, case, uh, certainly in, before an indictment, uh, and, and then usually not until it's going to go to trial. And then there's grand jury material that's provided uh, by the prosecutors to the defense to help them prepare their case. Um, but generally speaking, none of this type of information would have come out. Now, having said that, this was a special grand jury, which is a little bit unusual as well. And apparently, uh, this, the purpose of this grand jury was to generate this report. Um, we don't know what, what else is in there, but it does sound like there's going to be additional investigation and there may be prosecutions down the road. Yeah, you're, you're one of a number of people from both sides uh, saying that. So what do you think this all means for 2024? Do you think it will impact Trump's presidential run? You know, I don't know that, uh, you know, Donald Trump is going to make a decision on any of these sorts of factors. His thing, his thinking seems to be, you know, uh, disconnected from these sorts of matters. You know, the Republican Party as a whole and and voters in the primaries might have a different take. Uh, but I think the key question is, what's it going to mean for the prosecutors at the state and federal level? He's facing multiple cases at the state and federal level. Uh, I, my sense of those is they're going to move forward regardless of what he decides to do as president. And the fact that he's in the race might mean there's an acceleration of an effort to bring those investigations to an, a, a conclusion, either an indictment or, um, a, a, you know, a, or not. Uh, probably, I would think, by either the end of the, the year or beginning of next year. So it might, it might accelerate things a bit, but other than that, I don't know that it's going to have much of an impact. It's going to be an interesting two years, though, nevertheless. Democratic Congressman from Maryland, Glenn Ivey, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.